All right, guys, so for this one, I'm going to be doing uh, the fuel pump in the CRX. And whenever you see this big jack, just know that I'm annoyed because uh, having this thing in an apartment building and taking it down, up and down, up and down, it sucks. I got uh, my two jack stands and these bottles. I know I'm probably going to get some crap for this, but I'm going to put fuel inside these bottles temporarily just to uh, siphon it out and then um, fill them up. I have another one, I have five gallons. And then um, that's just to empty the tank. Because I have at least half tank and that's gonna be at least four, five gallons. I bought this from Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh Special Multi-Use Transfer Pump. And I'm gonna use this to siphon the tank out. I got my basic tools, a big um, piece of cardboard so I could lie down on that. I got a tarp so I could lie down on this too because uh, it's not really about me not wanting to get dirty because I do get dirty in this right here but if you don't have a lift um, and you're on the floor working on the floor it gets tired fast especially you know if you're starting to like get up in age so uh, this is more for like comfort instead of uh, being clean um, these are my tools. These are more like specialty type tools. Whenever I have this box, it's going to be something a little bit more um, bigger than just, you know, an average plug change, oil change or whatever. Then I have uh, this box. This is uh, a cheap OEM, OEM equivalent fuel pump. I mean, a fuel filter because mine was all um, rusty, so that's gonna be kind of cool. And then best of all, I got this uh, fuel pump and it's by uh, Spectra or Spectre, people like to pronounce it. Spectre Premium is basically um, an AutoZone special. So if AutoZone could sp uh, sell this, then I'm pretty, um, you know, glad i got this one also i want to put a huge shout out for giving me uh the link to this his name 802 garage hit him up he's a pretty cool guy cool channel and everything good content and he gave me the link to uh this uh specter premium it was like an amazon special and uh basically what i was kind of looking for was an oem equivalent that was like name brand instead of like an oem equivalent that's like chinese or taiwanese or something so this is uh you know pretty much a name brand and it's an oem equivalent and what's kind of cool about it the pump looks pretty good and it actually has like the oem style um you know fittings to uh connect it you got your uh negative and positive right there and everything is uh pretty good i also got uh, a strain this uh, airtex fuel strainer and uh john widmer he used these in his uh, in his repairs, and he said that this is the recommend recommended one to get because this elbow or something it reaches down lower in the tank, so that's a really really cool thing. And I've actually read uh, some um, threads about getting this one specifically for this chassis and this tank design. So I got that. So pump strainer fuel filter probably not going to put the fuel filter on today because um i need to get a fitting for it but it is going to be up and running so yeah so that's about it now it's just time to siphon some gas and uh let's see how good this thing works so first off open the gas tank it's got some pressure in there and um yeah let's see if this thing actually works probably get a close-up let's see if I could get a close-up on this All right, so I just read the instructions and they said that this one's intake this one's discharge so I got that one go right inside all right just hit something so I'm just gonna abandon that and instead 
I'm just gonna uh, end up going inside here, taking that off and going directly down because that's where I see all the fuel at. And for some reason, I'm not getting any fuel out of this though. So I put it all the way inside and it's not even getting, um, not even reaching the fuel. So it's just dry, kind of crazy. Right, guys, so this thing's actually working surprisingly well. I can't really show it too good. See the fuel right there. All right, guys, so you're not really gonna be able to see that good, but this is gonna be the second gallon already. So I got my two bottles of piss right here. I mean uh, fuel and to be honest that looks like piss to me um, I did add fresh uh, Chevron fuel to this cart a few gallons, but I did drive it around for you know a little while so this is diluted with old gas, but The tank it looks good inside. I'll get a better look of it on camera, but I Don't know why it's like this because gas should be honestly like a light ultra light bluish green color not like a piss colored so I'm gonna uh, jack up the car now and get it on jack stands and drop this tank okay, so I'm up under the car and this thing's just all rusty with uh, some type of rust residue everywhere so I'm just gonna take off this shield right here and uh, access the fuel lines and then there's gonna be this one right here those look like I don't know some type of like spider eggs I'm not really sure what the hell's going on here but gonna take these shields off and reveal all the spiders underneath and then I'm just gonna uh, do whatever lines that are here and there's gonna be uh, the fuel fill which is right there and that's the main one from the outside and uh, get that and then uh, pretty soon oh yeah find the connectors to it and just lower it little by little I'm gonna just get the jack bring the jack over here this is gonna be like the crappiest video but I don't know all right guys so I just uh, removed that shield right there and I revealed a whole bunch of spiders right here you can see them right there and this video is just so dark, but. So I'm just trying to get these lines and get as much as I can out of here. It's just disgusting. That's the only problem though. If this was like an average car that was like, you know, upkept and not abandoned, then I would be like, okay. But this thing is pretty gross. Line right here, which is the main line. I got this one right here this clamp off of there I gotta get this clamp off of there or this clamp here and then that one right there and then it's gonna be ready to drop but I gotta get this one and then I gotta pull pull this one off right here which is a pain man I hate working on my back with all this freaking debris falling in my eyes. Look at those spiders. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, time to keep going. I loosened this one up. I got this one off. I got this one off. Next up, I gotta get this one. I got the clamp off. And now I gotta get this one right here. Looks like uh, either Phillips or tin. But yeah, but that one uh, splashed everywhere. This one was dry, and I know that this one's gonna leak too, but yeah, next up is gonna be this one. This one seems kinda hard, 
and then it's going to be this one. Probably I'll make this one the last one. Alright guys, so I just got this one off right here. Next up is going to be this one, and that's for your filler neck, and that should be it. And then I'm going to drop it, and there should be connections at the top. But man, this thing's a pain. Alright guys, so I got that line off finally. The one that goes here. Um, I try to get this one off. This one right here, I can't get it. Um, I don't have my channel locks with me. So I'm just going to like take off the clamp and drop it and hopefully it just twists. Or hopefully uh, it's got some play to it where I'll be able to just to lower the tank a little bit enough and angle it. And I won't have to take that thing off and just put the clamp back on. But I'm not really looking forward to uh, taking the tank out. I just want to drop it so I could just get the, uh, the whole unit out. And yeah, so now I'm going to just take off the straps right here. Well, you can't really see that, but take off the straps and lower it. Let's see how it is. All right, guys, so I got the jack right under. I took off one strap right there. Gonna get this one and uh, yeah hopefully drop this thing and hopefully I don't have to like completely remove it if I could just lay it down towards like if it's like angled this way like that and I could just reach the top then that'll be perfect all right guys so try and shine some light I got the jack right there gonna slowly lower it all right well it's getting caught up on something all the piping the big two and a half inch piping all right, so I see it right here, right up there. It's looking pretty good. It's gonna lower it more. Guys, right, so. There it is right there. All this stuff right here. So I'm gonna um, clean it up as much as possible uh, and knock off some of those 10 millimeter bolts and it's gonna be uh, pretty good but I wanna try and clean it as much as possible those wires look pretty damn old but yeah so um, I think I could just probably lower it a little bit more a few more inches and that's gonna allow me enough room to get it because that's a lot of room up there alright guys so in order to take this off there's gonna be that little bolt right here it's gonna uh, take off that bracket and that's the hard line that actually goes up so take off the nuts and up goes the whole assembly but first you got to take off that one right there right here and in with the new and what's actually kind of cool is that the strainer it matches up so that one goes there and that one same exact thing 
with the positive on that side positive right there so much better same size too so it's perfect now I'm just going to uh, swap everything over put fresh hardware fresh clamps and everything and a fresh hose and it should be good All right, so I got the strainer right here and the strainer actually looks a lot like the OEM one so that's kind of cool gonna install it right there and they gave this little provided clip right there to hold it in and it's coming together pretty good so a quick tip that little clip for the strainer garbage I don't even know where it's at I just end up using a I ended up using the factory Honda one and it went in and I kind of had to like pre-tension it a little bit but it was perfect it slid in there and it's holding like very firm so that's the pump right there hose now it's ready to go back on the assembly gonna clean it up real nice and should be good so it's already been about 20 minutes and I haven't even done anything cuz I just ate a burrito right now so i um, gonna clean up a little bit man this thing is so so crusty that thing is it's trippy how this thing will last so long so I'm gonna just uh, wrap it up already I'm gonna throw this back in the tank tighten down the 10 millimeter nuts right here all these I have to clean them up pretty good too they got um, some type of like undercoating on them and um, just gonna throw it up raise it and I'm gonna make sure all my connections are good and passing through the top and I have all my connections right here good and everything just seems pretty dang legit I got that ready to go so yeah so gonna throw it in and uh call up got that one tight all the way pretty damn stressful job because you're on your back and just crap is flying in your face Once that's uh, good, I'm going to tighten this up more. I just have a few more hoses to go. And I also have that one right there and the clamp. And besides that, it's pretty much a wrap on this one. But I'm going to uh, put about a gallon of gas in here and uh, just try it out. I, don't, I didn't want to like try it with... Uh, you know like um run the pump dry so i just buttoned up everything just i already know it's gonna pretty much work so so yeah so let me put these last hoses and uh let's see if this thing starts up gauge kind of works that's kind of weird 
usually it's been on uh, full this whole time. So I'm gonna uh, pack up all my stuff, all my tools. Sounds pretty good. It's still a cold start though, but now I kind of want to see how the idle is with the new pump. Because that fluctuating idle, that could have been maybe fuel pressure, low fuel pressure. Because I did notice that after it warmed up, when the fuel pressure was low, it, uh, it would start acting up. So I'm kind of curious to see that though. All right, so I'm gonna let it warm up and uh, cruise it around here for a little bit and uh, we'll see how it looks like and uh, see how it performs.